Hi, my name is Andres and this is Killer Rings Halloween special. First tattoo I ever did was actually on myself when I just first got the tattoo machine. Um, I tattooed a small kind of candy with a wrapper paper and with crazy colors and I just grabbed the tattoo machine and I tried it straight on my leg without even stencil I think back then so yeah that was the first thing I did. I love tattooing horror because uh, I just really love horror as an art. I love that I can get a little bit more freedom when I tattoo horror designs because it allows me to do extra like textures and cracks and blood and stuff like that what wouldn't allow in any other styles. I would like to tattoo more horror things but I'm already doing anyway and I just really love this what I do and there is like a list of things what I would love to tattoo but most of the times I don't really like offering that to my clients because I believe they need to know what they want to get before getting it so I don't really try to push my kind of things what I want to do on others and I'm just trying to wait for, for the perfect moment. I'm a huge fan of horror movies and I'm a huge fan of thrillers and, and vampire movies and everything like that and my personal favorite horror movie is It Follows and I just really love horror art and I'm really inspired by the movies as well and I put a lot of that emotion in some of my art as well so yeah it just keeps me inspired. The first horror movie I ever saw was The Fly. Of course, I was really young, I think I was about five or six years old. I didn't understand what what's going on or the movie or anything. I just thought people are randomly turning into a flies and it was scary. And few months later, I remember I smashed my finger in a car door and a little later my nail came off. And I was really scared and I was paranoid that I'm turning into a fly myself because again, I didn't know what's happening and I thought people are just randomly turning into a flies. And I remember I was hiding that from my mom as well because I didn't want her to find out that I'm turning into a fly. And the first horror movie I really saw was Nightmare on Elm Street. It wasn't like I watched the whole movie from start to end. I just watched probably maybe 10 minutes of the movie while my mom was watching. I kind of a little bit looked at it. We had bunk beds and I was sleeping on the top one and I was convinced every night that when I fall asleep Freddy will drag me down or cut me in pieces and stuff so it was quite terrifying to go to sleep and that was enough for me to be afraid of Freddy Krueger for years after that. And pretty much from that time even though how scared I was I was still really attracted to the horror and horror art and horror movies and everything around it and all, all the dark stuff. And growing up in Latvia we didn't have many uh, kind of horror things on the TV or in books or anything like that. And one time at school library we, me and my friend we borrowed the book and it was quite a small book. It was uh, full of horror short stories. We kind of started to writing our own stories because of course we wanted to kind of recreate some of those things there and some of the things that we've seen in the movies as well so so we filled up like many of the notebooks full of the stories we also started drawing like um, kind of designs for each story you know so we, we started drawing those creatures and like vampires and zombies whatever the story was and for the full effect I even cut my finger and dripped some like blood on the page just to kind of just so it kind of gives that creepy feel and like kind of real vampire vibe to it. So yeah, and pretty much after that I never stopped really drawing like skulls and horror things and always at school as well I was drawing in my notebooks so when we had to learn something in lessons I was like uh, kind of sketching horror creepy things on the corner of the notebooks. And a few years later, once I grow a little bit older, I had huge obsession with VHS. Me and my friend, we were always going out to rent some videotapes and I was really inspired by the artwork what I saw in those VHS and we pretty much watched everything from like Chucky, Hellraiser and Nightmare on Elm Street, all the series and Friday 13 and Halloween and all the horror classics, we pretty much watched all those. And all those movies kind of inspired me to write more stories and draw more horror art. And I'm quite happy that uh, we were growing up back then and, and that time that we couldn't just, uh, you know, download something and just print out and put the poster on a wall because if I wanted the poster on the wall of something creepy, I had to draw it myself because there was no other way to get it. And I think because of that, I'm still doing it right now. And I'm really glad I grew up in those times because that really inspired me to be an artist who I am today. And also, it was just fun to draw all those pieces. 
And later on, I got into skateboarding and started listening more like alternative and metal music. And of course, most of the musicians were covered in tattoos and I started to think that I would really love to get tattoos myself. My first tattoo was the independent logo tattoo on my shoulder and I was around 14 back then. And cause I needed to draw that first sketch of the design myself on the sketchbook. Other of my friends saw that I'm drawing tattoo designs. So they kind of started asking me, can I draw something for them as well? So I started kind of drawing like tribal designs and some skulls and stuff just so other people can get tattooed as well. And that was kind of my first step into tattoo world where actually people started asking for me to design something that they can get tattooed. Of course, it was a few more years till I actually started tattooing until I got machine and everything. But all those years I was always kind of dreaming about that one day I will tattoo. So I was starting to kind of prepare what designs I would want to get tattooed on myself and what designs I can offer other people to get as well. So most of my sketchbooks from back then started to more look like individual designs, what would be good for tattoo work. And so when I started tattooing, at first it was more inspired by all the drawing and I always was drawing more colors. Uh, so it was more inspired by new school designs of tattooing as well. So it was like new school colorful zombies and like, and some like dolls and some creepy things like that. So in the beginning, all my work was really colorful, but then slowly over the years, I got in more into black and gray and black and gray realism. And I started mixing some of those horror elements into my black and gray work and that's kind of slowly over the years how my style developed. My favorite thing about Halloween is just spooky vibe. So when I was growing up, we didn't have Halloween in my country. So I never really knew what even Halloween is. I only found out about Halloween from some of the horror movies or some of the cartoons that I used to watch. So kind of for me, it was always something really far, far away. But now growing up older, I'm really into Halloween myself. And what's not to like, there's the candies, you can dress up with whatever you want, you can watch horror movies all night, and you can do all those things any day, but Halloween kinda makes it more special. Now we celebrate Halloween at the house all the time. My daughter is really into horror and creepy things as well, so that kinda helps, and she really loves Halloween, it's her favorite holiday as well. And because we live in city center, we don't really have option to go around knocking on the doors and stuff, so what we do, we usually decorate the hallway inside our flat, and we put some like creepy music and we decorate all the walls and stuff and we dress up as well. And then we each, my wife and me, we hide in like different rooms. And so my daughter walks around the hallway and knocks on the doors for trick or treats. And so we open the doors then and kind of give out some candies and it's always kind of fun night. In my opinion, the scariest horror creature still now is Freddy Krueger. I think it just traumatized me when I was a kid and I still think it's quite creepy that whenever you fall asleep, he can just come and get you, you know, and no matter what you're gonna do, you eventually you will fall asleep. In the future, I would love to tattoo more horror stuff inspired by movies and kind of make them even more creepier because I think that would be pretty fun to do. I really love when people are getting inspired by my style because back in the day I was inspired by so many different styles and so many different creatures. So that's what made me who I am today. So I really love that I can give something back to the world. And so now when I inspire others, that's pretty cool. And the more good horror art out there, the better. Thanks a lot for watching this video. This was Killer Rings Halloween special and I wish you all happy Halloween.